Today's lesson was on solving division equations by using models and using the multiplication property of equality. This is very similar to what we've been doing all chapter. It's just the next step in inverse operations. Here we're looking at division problems. If you have something that says x divided by 4 equals 7, we have to do the opposite of divided by 4 to get x alone. The opposite of divided by 4 is to multiply by 4. If you see in red here, They've multiplied by 4 on the left and multiplied by 4 on the right side. You should get 28 as your answer. In our first example, we have a divided by 3 equals 7. First thing you want to do, let me go ahead and get to a blank slide here. All right, so if we have a, a divided by 3 equals 7. First thing you want to do, I like to draw my line through the equal sign, so I know whatever I do on one side, I'm going to do to the other. A divided by 3 equals 7. So I know that I've got to get rid of the divided by 3 by doing the opposite, multiplying by 3. Now when I have 3 over 1 times a over 3, the 3's cancel each other out. All I have is a over 1. And we don't really actually write 8 over, eight over 1, we just write a. 7 times 3 is 21. And there's our solution, a equals 21. Let's try another one so you can take a look at what it looks like. <clears throat> p over 7 equals 5. So let's try that one. p over 7 equals 5. Again, draw your arrow through the middle. Ask yourself, what do I need to do to this divided by 7 to get p alone? And the answer is the opposite. You do the opposite. You multiply by 7. Whatever I do on one side, I have to do to the other. Now these cancel out. We've already talked about why they cancel out. P equals 35. And that's basically the lesson for today. Now we also looked at some word problems. So let's quickly take a look at some word problems. The weight of an object on the moon is one-sixth that of its weight on Earth. If an object weighs 35 pounds on the moon, write and solve a division equation to find its weight on Earth. All right, well, the information we know is that the weight of an object on Earth divided by 6 equals the weight on the moon. And the reason we know that is because it tells us the weight of an object on the moon is one-sixth that of the weight on Earth. So if we know we weigh 35 pounds on the moon, we have a bunch of little sections of 35 until we get to the entire weight on Earth, W. What that means is if we take our W and chop it up into six pieces, we should get our weight on Mars, 35 pounds. Uh, I didn't mean Mars, I meant the moon. The way to isolate your variable is to multiply both sides by six. W over six times six just gives me W. 35 times 6 gives me 210. So we know our solution is 210 pounds on Earth. Here's another word problem. Carla is buying ribbon for costumes. She wants to divide a ribbon into 8.5 inch pieces for 16 costumes. Let's write and solve a division equation to find the length of the ribbon Carla should buy. Now we don't know the length of the ribbon. That's why we call it X. So there's the length of our ribbon. We know that she wants to divide, divide the ribbon into eight and five tenth inch, inch pieces. Eight and five tenth inch pieces. So there's the eight and five tenths. That is one costume. Now she needs this to equal 16 costumes. Now that we have our equation set up, the only thing left to do is to multiply both sides by 8 and a half. So there's our r over 8.5 equals 16. By multiplying both sides by 8 and a half, we're getting r on the left since they cancel out. And when we multiply 16 by 8 and 5 tenths, you should get a total ribbon length of 136 inches.